Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck in New World. Today, I'm gonna show you a video about the spear. The spear is kind of the best or the easiest weapon to use in New World. And you kind of always need it because the spear has a lot of enfeebling and rend and does good DPS, alright? So what is happening is the the spear is one of the best dungeon uh, uh, weapon, but into it you need to have a ruby. All right, if you're fighting in Guiar, you're gonna have a ruby. If you're fighting uh, Mob in, in Lazarus, the ancient, you're gonna put a lightning gem. You're gonna have to adapt to the type of mob you're gonna fight. And what is gonna happen? You're gonna have some gear. And that gear you're gonna adapt it to. And as you can see, you can even have some gem into it that give you a damage boost. So you see on the one piece you can have up to 4% damage boost. And with the spear, with this build, your empower starved. So you can put as much like you can go with the full harnessing if you want, with every gem like this if you want. And that that would be great, uh, I feel like. And then uh, you put like all diamond, like uh, all diamond would be great. And like maybe two malachite, or like no, you put all diamond in your gear for the raid, and then you put them all like this with the ignited. And then on your uh, on your two right there, you put some diamond too. And then when you reach the last boss. Uh, what I do is I change two piece so you change those two piece right there You put some nuts of gem onto it and you're gonna change our amulet for a nuts of amulet So you're gonna have three piece with nuts on it The rest is gonna be diamond and you're gonna have all your ignited gem and it's gonna do a better DPS So what is happening with the spear to let me tell you, Spear Great Sword is the best PvE combo when there's a lot of mob. But let me tell you, if you use the finisher with your spear, every bleeding mob that you're gonna attack, you're gonna do 15% more damage on it. And you better not use your finisher. You're never, ever, ever gonna attack something in your, in your finisher, okay? Your finisher is just there to evade, repost, and flesh when you need it. When you need movement, or you like, you, you're gonna see. I'm gonna put so, some play uh, during this video at the end, and I'm gonna explain the strategy. So at the start of the this tutorial, it's more like a build guide, and at the end, it's gonna be more about the strategy. I don't know if it's gonna be too long. If it's gonna be too long, uh. The next time I'm gonna do two videos. I I'm trying different format right there, but I think one big like this is not a bad idea. So if I upload one every day, I'm gonna be able to do every class uh, pretty soon. So with the rapier and spear, you gain fifty percent, fifteen percent more DPS. If you read on the bottom right there, finisher harmony, fifteen percent more DPS on on mob with bleed so the boss is always having a bleed on it and if you don't you put a skewer and boom you have a bleed so you see your spear now is doing 15 percent more dps because of the, the finisher your spear now is doing like a lot more dps like another like 10 percent more dps minimum uh with the the rune glass and the fire on his thing and then uh if you really want to pop and then more fire dps you can have a ring like right now i have purifying urge because i don't find anything else but uh, if you could have fire damage right there that would be like the best thing you can have like right now i'm using a spear but i have a, a ruby into it so it's not a trust that you need it's a uh, fire and you're gonna adapt like this to every dungeon you're gonna do. 
so yeah, like I, I dropped this in the dungeon. It's not that good, but I'm still using it uh, because yeah, it's magnified. It's, it's decent. So this is my gear. The feature wear, weight artifact gonna make you more tanky. You're gonna be able to have two EVPs. You're gonna see I have two EVPs, and the rest is light. So the feature weight is pretty nice, but as you can see, I have a healer a perk on it because uh, it belongs to my healer build. But still, uh, I was missing like the piece that I was looking for for the fire harnessing was the fire lord. Like, it, it was just too easy piece to have. And since you get the fire lord pretty easy and then you have the fire weight, it's like a really easy starter build. You're going to get those three tam. And then you're just going to have to fill up with those two there. And those two, you're probably going to drop them into dungeon. I think I got this into Savage Divine. And this one, uh, Dynasty or Depths. So yeah, it's mostly all dungeon gear. Uh, deep is Depths. Uh, so yeah, the Fire Kick, this is what I use. The Fire Kick is amazing. Yeah. Uh, if like you can have the like right now you can see I don't have the fortified perforate perk. If I want to make my build better, I could have the fortified per perforate perk. And since the boss is mostly is most of the time uh, always uh, enfeebling cap, you probably don't even need to put the enfeebling on your spear for the boss fight. Like you see what I mean? the everyone is like putting some enfeebling on the on the bus like so it's way over uh enfeebling cap so if you can have fortified perforate on your spear for the bus fight that could be better look at this i think i have an example for you yeah if you look right there that would be a perfect one like vicious because you're gonna see most of those buffs, you cannot backstab them, so Vicious is amazing. And you gain some critical chance when you do stuff with the spear. Fortifier Perforate gonna help you, and Life Stealing is gonna help you a lot. And then if you do that, you're gonna need Enfeebling Skewer on an armor piece like I did on this build right there. And you can see I did almost the same min-max. And I have the Relentless Rush to since I have the Great Sword and it helps you unroot. But this, you won't need that uh, during the, the boss fight. So yeah, if you want to have big, big spear DPS, this is what you're going to do. And if you want to, like, to have a uh, support spear, like if your spear is not really good but you still want it because there's not and a friend and and a feeling to your taste or something like that then you can swap for the great sword and you're gonna see at the end the great sword you're gonna need it because you're gonna have to destroy the eggs and the great sword is really good to do that you better to do like uh Great sword and spear, or great sword and hatchet into the last boss. Uh, I think great sword and spear is better because you're gonna put some enfeebling on the boss, and then all the attack of the boss. Sometimes you see the boss is charging on people, and there's a lot of death that are caused by that charge. And if you have some people putting some skewer, the enfeebling skewer perk right there. Uh, on the boss, man, that's a big difference when he, he, he rush into your face. 50%? Man, uh, game changer, all right? So, uh, if you, you you play with the great sword and add shit, you better use the throw that's going to put enfeebling for the last boss because, uh, yeah. A lot of people are going to tell you, Rand, Rand, you need Rand. You always rent cap, all right? If you look, I've played with every weapon, so I know it. In yet there's some rend on every weapon. Like uh, the, the rend is not like only on the spear. Like the great sword have some rend. The sword and shield have some rend. The, the bow have some rend. Like, 
it's just it, like that it's just how it is i think the only one that don't have ran is the fire staff so yeah uh this is it for this part i use infuse health potion regen potion rt meal and mana potion okay so if you go uh spear and great sword is you better to go like this if you go with 100 con and then if you want to go lower con then you you almost better to go there but uh, like great sword scale more, more of strength so if you think you're gonna use more the great sword you put more into the great sword and dex is more for the spear so you put more into the the, the dex uh, so it's more a dex video and a spear video and look if you play with the rapier and, or the hatchet like you you better in my opinion to take the rapier than the hatchet for the 15 percent buff then you want to reach more uh, dex because the the like right now you just want to boost your spear dps so yeah and crit chance while empowered it, you, it don't matter that much to you because uh you're gonna like uh it in the back of the mob most of the time but most of, in, in those bus fight i guess crit chance can the help you and uh yeah like w when you think about it and stunned slowed rooted the enemy so when you think about it this is pretty obvious that you could you should go with more uh empower or if you go with spear and rapier just like this because you see the stunned slowed and rooted enemy there's only the second phase that there's that you see what i mean like um the the ads phase so maybe you can change it for the ads phase but if you really want to perform for the boss fight it's gonna be like that and then for the ads phase uh, like uh, it's not gonna be a big difference like that those mob are it's impossible to to stun them and I think it's impossible to slow them, but you can't root them. It's, maybe it's possible to slow them, but I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it requires some tests. But, you know, uh, what I would recommend is during the... Like, you're going to use the spear and rapier into the first boss. And then into the second boss, you're going to use the spear and, and the great sword. And then on the last boss, uh, you're gonna sp use the spear and the great sword, or the great sword hatchet, or like you know what would be even better. Uh, no, nah, that would not. So yeah, yeah, that would be that great sword hatchet or spear great sword for the last boss because you want to destroy the eggs, and if you don't have a great sword in your melee. You're almost throwing like if your spear hatchet or like spear or whatever and you don't have a great sword and you're a melee uh, I don't know what you're doing man So this is the build uh, I, I wanted to have cyclone because uh, the mob in this dungeon uh, during the boss fight are immune to sweep like it doesn't do a CC. Maybe you can use it if, if you have the weapon perk on your build and you really want the bleed. But uh, you see during the sweep you're going to die in the animation anyway. The the cyclone, uh, they fixed it. You don't die into the animation anymore. You can dodge out of the animation of the cyclone. And uh, the cyclone going to regen your health if you have the weapon perk. So it's not a bad weapon perk at all if you can add it. So you can have the three weapon perk and that would be a good build. Fortify perforate gives you fortify, skewer gives you amphibling, and this one gives you back some health. 
but you don't want it on your spear you want it on your gear if you have it so for the rest there's a couple that i like i did not wanted this because there's no connected down target during the, the, the fight it doesn't really happen in boss fight and same for this the grit the boss don't really have grit so i was like uh, nah but those uh that one with the grit you, you can use it in dungeon and it's good uh, same for this one you're gonna use it in dungeon and it's good but not uh in red you just wanna mean it's another build because it's another it's all different uh you could be using this it's not too bad but uh I took other option because uh, you can backstab and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this build worked really good. There's a couple passive you can play around with the passive. Like this passive could be really good if you take something else else off. And at this point, it's more like your taste. Uh, it's uh, some small change that's gonna do almost nothing. Uh, it's my rapier build. I don't do DPS with it. I just evade. And uh, yeah, you're gonna see why I don't use that. Uh, it's just because I don't hit with it, and this uh, because I don't heal. I don't hit with it too too much. Uh, mostly when I don't have stamina. All right, and this is the great sword build. This one is really important if you're using like a cross cut. You're throwing. You need to be using this and what happened is after using relentless rush you're gonna get into the onslaught stance if you read this right there after using an ability you get into onslaught stance but it need to be one of those two ability and then you're gonna use that and if you read there in onslaught stance the shockwave pull full three meter towards you and does enfeebling 10% so when you go into the mob phase or around the boss you pop this sub sometimes just for the enfeebling and that's great uh, and yeah you don't really need the disease into this dungeon too much uh, so yeah this is why I, I decided to have this uh, unflinching blade like uh, it's pretty good you, it gives you grit uh, uh, and yeah the bleed like it, it gained uh, some bleed stack and like you see some people can have some rapier as a secondary so the fact that there's someone with a great sword applying some bleed, bleed stack all the time it's very good and you kind of need it and this is my hatchet build uh, it's probably common maybe you have seen this somewhere before uh, I, I go reach this and you can read why i want uh, that 10% more dps against target at the buff for sure this one is kind of important to 10% per enemy around you it's pretty good uh, but yeah the other like the enfeebling is pretty good to gaining stamina when you do critical is pretty nice uh, so yeah this build is amazing but uh hatchet is just not the best weapon in this dungeon and if you use the hatchet you are most better use you are most better to just use the rapier with it and not put out the rapier just use the hatchet like a uh, main weapon and do as much dps you can with it uh yeah that 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 sounds stupid but it's the way you can do and you can have a throw at shit build like that and with the, the finisher as a secondary and like you're throwing your hatchet and doing 15 percent more dps that would be great so i'm gonna explain a bit the strats like and show the gameplay as you can see the tail wipe like you just did is like one of the things that you need to take care of the most if you don't want to die from that staying into a sacred ground for sure gonna save you using your skewer gonna save you uh yeah i just want to let you know that in the last three bar it's gonna hit harder so you need to dodge it into the last three bar that would be way better for you to do it uh this and the, there's gonna be a jump phase and this is the two thing that you need to take care of the most uh, as you can see we are not eating in the back and even if you we are eating into the back 
it does not do uh, more criticals so this is why I have vicious I think in this moment on my spear I had yeah, the, the vicious spear with the uh, 45 perforate rate uh, on me just because my that group was pretty hard it was throwing hard as you can see I'm the it's only not one not hitting the spine. spine like yeah, you see when the spine. buzz drop like that and you go hit on the spine it, it takes a lot more DPS and as a melee you need to do that and you see the tank you need to understand that you need to tank the bus into an angle that you're gonna be able, the DPS gonna be able to hit the spine <clears throat> so when you stay behind the, la the tail like this you have, you have good chance to have a tail whip but I'm trying to raise him and then move away from there um, Th there's most of the time a spot like this that you can go between the rock uh, it's I think there's a side that there's a, a, a spot you can go and there's a side that there's not but I just want to let you know that there's always a spot uh, just uh, not on the tail but just on the side of the tail if you go by, by the back of the bus on the side of the tail you are safe and I go in a lot of time just there because it feels safe so yeah right now I'm just trying to stay into the, the sacred to not get one tap because the sacred ground got 45 45 sacred ground gonna help you to not get one tap I have the rapier as a secondary I'm not really using it because I just want to use the, the fact that it's the finisher and I'm gonna do more DPS on the target that I bleed every time that I use my skewer I do apply a bleed so this is amazing uh, the way that the tank is thinking is not really good you need to give us more space uh, to be able to, to, to hit the bus when you drop on the spine like I say uh, like yeah his positionment is not really good but but at least he's surviving and this is all what you need uh, like you see again the spine uh, we cannot hit the spine I was I better I think to hit it by the side no 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 so this is bad so yeah before hitting try to always find a sweet spot like it's fine if you wait a bit the, the, D, the ranger dps are there to do constant dps and you you are there mostly just to do some big dps and apply some support here and here but yeah the like melee is hitting harder than range but uh, yeah, it's harder to hit melee, so range gonna do more DPS on the final for sure. If there was their board, but you gonna apply more uh, enfeebling, more rend, and all that stuff. And uh, as you can see, it, it's kind of hard. Like it took took you it uh, like three keeper to it. Like that's pretty good. Like yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can chain it, you see you're gonna chain, you, it, it, there's some combo to do with the spear, you're gonna chain two light attack into a skewer, and then two light attack into a perforate, and then two light attack into a, a cyclone. And you try to alternate between that and you don't, when you're gonna do some critical you're gonna reduce your cooldown, uh, when you dodge after using an attack it reduces your cooldown. So you need to be aware how to get, reduce your cooldown. You can even have refreshing move on your thing just to be able to pop more uh, of your of your CD and do the, the combo every time. You know, like uh, you probably do more. Like right now, I have uh, leeching on my spear just to make sure I survive better. But if I had refreshing move, maybe I would be able to put out just a bit more DPS and. You know, a bit more DPS is still a bit more DPS, and this is fine. So the crystal phase is really important. As you can see, the spear is hitting hard on the crystal. The great sword is still hitting harder than the spear, but you know, you do with what you have, and the spear is doing really, really well. Uh, seriously, it's impressive, and you need one in your group anyway. So the dude in your group who have the spear basically, he, he should be playing like this with the, the rapier and the spear or great sword with the spear. And uh, like you, you almost like 
You almost not need great sword till like the last boss with the eggs and even with the eggs you don't need it that much. The the great sword is more like the it's just that it's the best DPS. So if you want to beat the boss quicker and have like if you beat the boss quicker there's less risk to having some great sword gonna help for sure. But that spear DPS man I think uh, you better to have some dedicated great sword user that uh, maybe have a spear as a support or like hatchet with it. Just like uh, they're gonna be dedicated great sword user, main great sword user. But if you're the main spear user, then you're gonna do this build right there. Uh, and you know, this is. A insane build right there uh, for the boss fight the 15% DPS uh, and you know you're not taking risk like if you take the great sword as example when you get into the onslaught stance you're gonna lose some armor to do more DPS but it's not the same for with the spear you are you're gonna gain some armor with the fortify perforate and you see I have 100 con during this this gameplay and I think I have even less because I fuck it up my respect, I have 12k so I have like a 80 con or like 70 con or something. And you see I survive pretty good so you go with 45 prefer 8 and 100 con. You're gonna kind of survive to most of the attack, like 99% of the attack from the boss you're gonna survive and be able to regain. Uh, but with the great sword, it's not gonna be the same. You're just gonna like get one tap, and there's not gonna be a way to regain. And there's not gonna be a lot of uh, weapon that you're gonna do big DPS like with the spear. I'm pretty sure you're gonna do more DPS with the spear than with the hatchet. But the, the hatchet, you know, it's still an amazing weapon in. Um, how to say that in uh, Angry Earth, you know, they are weak to hatchet. But like I say, if you really want to do hatchet, you're almost better to be hatchet rapier and just use your hatchet as a name. That would be crazy. If you do, I, I guess if you do great sword main, you could be having the hatchet. Uh, just you, you throw enfeebling hatchet and a rand hatchet, and then you keep using your great sword. That can work. Uh, but yeah, great sword and spear are gonna be a bit more utility and sometimes like you see you, you go on the crystal, you rend the crystal and then you AV attack the crystal with the great sword, you're probably gonna kill it faster than just AV attacking with the great sword. But like I said, there's a rend on the hatchet too, you can do the hatchet throw uh, But the hatchet throw is way less rend and you yeah gonna do less DPS uh, with your hatchet than with the spear too so it's probably better with the spear so I would say that the spear rapier is the best spear DPS then you have the spear great sword because the great sword is the best DPS and the spear is gonna support it perfectly and then you're gonna have great sword hatchet and spear hatchet I guess uh, that can work but spear hatchet you're not gonna have the 15% for DPS that you gain from the bleed, so this is just bad, then you kind of really want it, you know. I'm gonna let you just li listen to the rest of the gameplay for the, this, and then uh, when the other bus gonna start, I'm gonna re restart speaking because uh, you need to hear the noise and see what is happening and at the same time I'm gonna be annoying if I speak during one hour non-stop.
All right, so I came in with the fire kick, fire kick, you know what you do. I have the rapier again. The rapier is amazing, super support. I'm trying to stand the back. This boss there, you can backstab it so you can have a spear with rogue. That would be perfect. Uh, but you know you can just use more your great sword to uh, I go straight up on the bird uh, like in this phase you need to go on the bird first and then kill the wolf the wolf are all are under to kill so by starting by the bird you at least gonna kill two before the boss sunk them up but uh, if people can manage to stack the wolf on the bird's bird, it's gonna be better. And this is the job mostly of the healer to do that because the healer gonna get the aggro because he's gonna healing, he's gonna get the aggro from the mob. So if the healer stack on the corvid, everything is supposed to stack there. So yeah, you can attack a bit but when passing by the, the mob and pull them to the corvid, but uh, usually you not you don't gonna have to do this because the, the mob when they're gonna spawn they're gonna go mostly for the healer. So right there what we do is on the first phase we kill the adds and the second phase we ignore the adds. I think this group was not really good so maybe we don't do it like that but if you get with a group that have good DPS and listen to my video enough to do good DPS you're gonna be able to kill the first phase of mob and then skip the second then you're gonna go on the other side of the wall and then you're gonna kill the first phase of mob and then you're gonna skip the second and then the same thing on the third side of the wall the third wall yeah So I think this boss, uh, seriously, people make it way harder than it's supposed to be. Uh, if you have the good build, the good perk, uh, it's gonna be better. Like you don't even need to have that much a good good perk. You don't have need to, that to have like good gear. What you need is to have the good setup, and having the good setup, it don't require a lot of effort. It require people to don't have enough ego to, and people need to listen like you see in my spear I have a ruby you're gonna see a lot of people that have no ruby in their spear and this is why you have hard time killing those those ads you see this is the way because all, all of those noob have like a bow with no ruby into it a spear with no ruby into it like uh, there's a healer that have a, a rapier instead of a void gauntlet like this was bad we really do like we had the healer with a rapier instead of a void gauntlet and he had a sapphire into his rapier bro like come on dude. all right so the healer can put a ruby 2 into his uh the void gauntlet and he can have an honest in build like a dps So you see, I just try to stand at the back of the bus and I keep DPSing it. What I, I don't like into this bus is that there's a lot of DPS you're gonna see. There's some phase that you have some free DPS and you need to just keep constantly eating the bus. And they are just not eating it. Like the bus is going in the middle and then he's marking someone because he's gonna charge into it. And the, the dude is going behind the wall. So like we are, you, I'm there alone eating the bus and nobody is eating it while we have like, I don't know, 15 seconds almost free DPS and you really need to use it. So if there's some mob left, the bus gonna suck them up at the end. Uh, it's, you're gonna have a green over, you're gonna suck them up and more there's mob, more you're gonna dra drain some of your life too and everyone in your group and it's gonna kill some people. So this is why you need to kill adds because the empower itself it's not that much a big deal for the tank. But yeah, so uh, you need to take care of that a lot. Having a potion ready for when uh, you're gonna suck the L to be able to counter the L suck by a potion. 
or by at least leeching on the boss if you have a leeching weapon uh, like you're leeching on your spear or at or whatever you just do this right so you see again i go for the corvi the uh, uh, the vine are pretty good for the corvid or the fire kick. Uh, everyone who don't have the vine or the fire kick is kind of throwing. I mean, you can have maybe the, the stone form, but I think the stone form is kind of throwing. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, you see, you better have 100 con and use the right thing than going 5 to 50 con with stone form and don't have the good thing. I've seen some people going 5 con and don't have a ruby in their spear. And they would be doing probably more DPS if they had 50 con with a ruby. Like, you see, like, uh, you go low con but you don't think about your build properly, it just made no sense. So start by making your build right before doing whatever. So I take the time to do a shameless plug because it's kind of funny and good meme. Uh, it, we are going hard. Like it, you're gonna see the way it finished at the end. It was really sketchy and really hard. Uh, it's a random group. It's all like, uh, yeah, random groups, you know what I mean, like, you... Pug are so hard and, and doing weird shit, man, like, it's why, one of the reasons why I started to make build a uh, guide in this game is because everyone is doing the wrong thing and then you're gonna have some YouTuber that come and give everyone the wrong build and the wrong stuff to do and, like, and then I'm telling people, are you UT are you looking YouTube content to learn how to make better build? And they are like, yes, I'm looking Duke Slot. Duke Slot have nice build. No, Duke Slot have bad build. Duke Slot is bad. Did you ever seen Duke Slot in top one leaderboard leaderboard mutation? No, Duke Slot has never been in top one leaderboard mutation. Maybe a bit, but I never seen and if, if he would, I would see because I I always been playing this game. So then you're listening to some people like that. Uh, the dude have one hundred thousand uh, subscribers, so yes, the people are gonna listen to him. But the reality is, this dude is just making content as soon as he can. To gain as much view as much traction and doing the tutorial is just a good way so even if he's gonna do bad tutorial he's just gonna release everything as quick as possible to gain the view gain the traction he's gonna put a big clickbait title just to bait you in and then you're gonna think it's gonna good because he's gonna have a couple hundred like uh, given by his fanboy that don't know a shit about this game that are probably playing Diablo and uh, Final Fantasy. So yeah, this, it do be like that. Like it, I've seen video, uh, this random stuff. Like there was a dude Nobel's release. This dude, I've I've been farming him in o, in OPR and in open world PvP all the time. And this dude come in and saying that you need rent badly. Everyone needs so much rent. Bro, you, you, can, you can just put 50% rend. If everyone puts some rend, you're gonna reach, what, 500% rend? Hey, good job, dude, man. You're gonna do some, so, some, some really good content. All right, so uh, for this, the third boss, this one is kind of hard. And you know what? I was alone with the great sword trying to destroy the eggs, so I kind of realized something. I kind of realized something kind of huge, guys. If everyone in your the eggs and then you shoot the mobs, the mobs are going are gonna die, and you don't need to shoot the eggs. So we were just all panicking too much with the eggs and thinking that we all need a great sword and stuff like that but the mobs like with my fire staff i just can do help them and like it just always be you just need to shoot the mobs and it, it, they, they die and it's fine bro and you just need to survive and not act like a bot and just going uh, 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 
uh, die by the mob. Like you, you have to dodge it, you have to run around and play smart. Uh, everyone has to move with it. Like don't try to tank the mob. You just try to to shoot it away, and if you have the aggro, you run and you let the other people do it. Like yeah. And and this is why I like I, I pull out the fire staff because we were not able to pass this, the the dungeon with the with this group, and I was like. Bro, I'm doing my best. I'm doing everything I can. I'm just, I just keep destroying eggs after eggs after eggs, and, and the boss health was just not going down, and the 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 flower was not dying. Man, and then I switched to fire staff, and guess what? Everything goes better. But guess what? I had the rapier on my fire staff, and the rapier made you do 15% more DPS. So that's great. So you go with the rapier on the blunderbuss and you're fine. So yeah, like you can switch uh, for another build on the last boss. Like when I'm going to use the spear or the great sword on the last boss, it's going to be probably because I have a good group. Because if you have a bad group, you almost better not melee it too much. Like, uh, Switch for a, a real ranged class and range it. If you have everyone ranged and only the tank is a melee, man, you're fine. Like, uh, you don't even need to destroy the eggs. Do you want me to repeat it another time to you? Uh, man, I'm, I'm so surprised you don't need to destroy the eggs. But yeah, as you, as you see, like, there's almost no eggs nowhere. The great sword player is gonna die during this round. And it's gonna be fine, even if there's some eggs, because you know. And I have a lot of people throwing in my group. You're gonna see all those bow users on my side right there. They have no fire jam in their bow, so they are just throwing right there. And still, even if we were not shooting, like destroying the eggs, it's fine. So, <clears throat> yeah. It's kinda simple, man. This is simply it. So you're gonna switch for a fire staff, or you're gonna switch for a bow, for a musket. Uh, you have a string build, you can switch for a blunderbuss, but you're gonna have some decks. So you better just do a fully respect, it's gonna cost you around 50 gold. Uh, for the last boss, you can add some natural gem too. Uh, between 2 to 5 natural gem would be like very good. Like 5 natural gem, you're gonna feel so safe. That you're gonna be the last one alive every time probably because nobody is prepared enough for this fight. Uh, so yeah, there's the white smoke on the ground. You just keep moving, dodging the white smoke. It's not too hard. There's the four fountain on each corner. When you take it, you can cleanse the people. You can cleanse yourself from all the debuff, the stun, uh, slow root. Uh, you can cleanse the volcano on the ground, you're gonna see some small volcano when you try to DPS the boss. When you're gonna be with a good group, you're gonna be able to use a great sword and a spear. And you're gonna see there is some volcano around the tail of the boss. And when you try to hit the boss, it just it's just hard because of the volcano. Then you throw the water ball on the tail of the boss around it and it cleanses the volcano and then you can use your spear on it and you're gonna for sure have some gameplay of me soon uh, doing it with the spear like it's just that today when i tried i had some bad baby you know i did the i did it the, on the third day but i did not record i don't know why man like no i know why it, i did not keep it because it just too much space Adding raid video in my PC takes too much space, so like I'm trying to not to just keep the revenant thing, and then when it's sometimes it's not revenant, and the day after it become revenant, becomes a part of my content, and then I deleted it. Hey, it's a it's a lot of gig if you think about it. 60 frame, it's uh, man, it's a lot of gig in 2K. So yeah. Uh, I'ma let you guys just listen to the le the rest of the gameplay and I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Ciao.